Welcome to another episode of Boat Snoop. I'm your host, Clint Johnson. And what we have for you guys today is a 2009 Meridian 441. This boat is absolutely gorgeous. I do want to mention right here at the beginning, stick with me. We're actually, we're going to run those engines, show you, show them running, but we're actually going to take this boat out so you can see it functioning. But this boat, she's shiny. She's, she's beautiful. Brand new bottom job. Just, I think it was January or February. Um, I actually will show some video of that here a little bit later as well. And, uh, just to show you how beautiful she is on the on the bottom. But we're gonna take this boat out. Another thing, this thing has brand new, what appears to be Isinglass, but no, it's not. He didn't go for just regular old Isinglass, which yellows. That is actually brand new polycarbonate that just got put on this last weekend. Absolutely beautiful. That fly bridge is air conditioned. We're gonna get up in there. Feels so good. I was up there earlier when I did the live stream and we had a few viewers there. Um, felt amazing. So actually air conditioned flybridge. Just this is an absolutely gorgeous boat. So I'm really excited to take you guys on this tour of this boat, take her out, show the engines running, show her underway, show her operational. So stick with me uh, for that. So I did want to show this 2009 Meridian 441 while she was out of the water. I will show you the rest of the boat, but we had her out of the water, new bottom paint, new zinks. While I was at it, new hydraulics for the trim tabs, new zinks, there's the bow thruster, the aft one, there is a forward one as well. Just wanted to show what one of these boats looks like when she has a brand new bottom job and everything's been done brand new. Ford bow thruster, the tunnel's completely clear and clean. She did just get buffed and waxed as well. So this is why you see all that shine on the hull. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so we have a large swim platform. I do want to point something out. It's really neat on this boat. Now other boats have it, but uh, it, this is like an electric reel system. It, it will pull it in, you just hit a switch and it'll just pull it in and coil it up really nicely. Saves a lot of work. You don't have to sit there and try to jam uh, your shore power, you know, into this cabinet here. A really nice feature. Got your standard swim ladder. Really nice, large aft deck. Really nice seats here. I want you to notice throughout this boat, the quality and how good a shape all of this upholstery is. It looks really, really nice. Right there we have our um, engine compartment. I'll get you into that later after we go through the boat. And uh, before we start the engines and actually head out, we're gonna start by uh, going up to uh, the bow of the boat and we'll come back, we'll get up in the fly bridge. I can't wait, uh, it's nice and air conditioned. But you can go to the bow of the boat on the port or the starboard side. Decent sized bow. Place for cushions to go out. See the little drink holders there. Some over there. Got a forward hatch for the master stateroom so you can get fresh air if you're not running air conditioning on a really nice day and you have your electric windlass, and you have your local controls. See right there, you can put a winch handle in there, manually run it in an emergency, if electric's not working, and you have good access here down in your chain locker. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you have your fresh water that you can rinse off your chain as you're hauling it back in. And as I was saying earlier, you can just see how nice and clean that polycarbonate 
glasses up there that's just brand new. Big windshield wipers. I know that the owner had uh, fixed and replaced one, so it has new motor. This actually has an inner helm as well. So we'll get to that when we get inside, but let's go back around and we'll get up into uh, the bridge up top, take a look at that, and then we'll get down inside the boat. So we'll go on up these uh, really nice stairs, nice handle right here. Oh, and that air conditioning feels good. Because you're so enclosed, there is an echo up here. A nice place to sit here for two, easily probably three people. We've got a handlebar there. You can see the electronics are up. You'll see more of this later when we go out to run the vessel. So we've got radar over there, chart plotter here. Really nice captain's chair. Oh, and these air conditioning vents, you can spin them around wherever you want to blow in, and they feel excellent. If I remove this cover, we actually have a little electric grill right here. Just want to point that out. It does have a nice cover that goes back on top. And if we come over here, we have a nice little sink. And additionally, it has its nice cover as well. And as we come around here, we do have a nice little Norcold refrigerator. A little ice box, you can keep some drinks up here while underway. And now obviously you can store a lot more down below, but that's nice. And a really nice lounge area up here with table. So you can kick back and relax. That's reclined, so you could just kind of lay and relax, but that'd probably sit easily four people. Maybe you could squeeze in five, but absolutely beautiful view out of this flybridge. All right, let's head down below and snip around inside there. And entering the salon, we have really nice, thick sliding glass doors. Let's step into this salon, absolutely beautiful. Starting over here on the port side, we have a nice Samsung TV, DVD player. Up in this upper cabinet, we have our stereo system. I know that that's running. I heard that running earlier. We have our own and marine generator. We'll start that a little bit later in this video. Starboard side here, we have alternating current volts, AC volts, and distribution panel. Over on this side is DC. DC distribution panel. We also have the keys, turn those over so you can start both engines. Something to notice in the salon in this boat is so much glass. It's so beautiful. The view, the light, everything like that, but it's all tinted so it's not just all coming in hard on you. Uh, but we have two really nice seats here, nice little table in between. And as you come around over here to the starboard side, really nice table. I mean, look at the shine off that. Really nice settee. More storage over here. Another little small refrigerator. And this settee does indeed fold out to make an additional bed in pretty good size. You could have two people lengthwise sleep on this. I didn't rearrange the cushions because I'm just going to put them right back, but they they, they go down so that you can, you know, lay out nice and flat, but really nice. These meridians have really nice touches. Something I want to point out is you can see how the ceiling is and up forward too, up towards the galley. It's actually really kind of cool. I don't know. It just adds a really nice fine touch to it. Instead of it just being plain headliners, it, they actually have designs and woodwork and I mean, I just wanted to kind of point that out. It just gives it a really nice feel. So moving forward, we have our digital air conditioning controllers. And trust me on this hot floor today, 
they feel excellent. So we come into the galley, we have our refrigerator, and you have a freezer box, good size. I can still sit, feel a little bit of the ice that he added on earlier. Down here in the refrigerator, pretty good size, and even some more storage space in the door. So looking around, you notice there's covers on the sink, on the stove top, all that. That gives you a ton of prep room to cook, prepare items, but then you just pull them out real quick and you have easy access. Two stainless steel deep sinks. In addition, I like it when you have these faucets like this so you can pull out and rinse down dishes and actually really work with them. That's really nice. And a three burner electric stove top. And most boats all the way down to one, maybe two. Um, this one having three, you can do some really serious cooking with those three burners. Next, we have what appears to be a microwave, but it's not just a microwave, it's a convection microwave. And if you watch some of my other videos, I love these things. It works just like an oven. So you can microwave like normal, whatever you want, but as a convection, you can actually bake stuff. And it works just like a normal oven. No, no microwave, it just, it heats it. And they actually cook faster than a non-convection oven. So I, I love convection microwaves or convection ovens in general. So it gives you the ability to bake, microwave, and then you have your stove top to basically do anything that you want to do cooking wise. I don't generally open a lot of cupboards for everyone. You get bored, your eyes roll in the back of your head, but underneath the sink, this is a really good use of space. You open this one up and you can put your silverware, other items, pots, pans, all really nicely fit into here. In addition, we have a whole bunch more storage space including this bottom one is our trash can love that and i absolutely love this one what a great use of space in that corner you can rotate this around i love these and so you can use this storage space there's there's shelves here here but other things there but the ability to put things and get it in the corner and get them back out that is a wonderful wonderful design as we come around, we have the inner helm. Obviously we have the helm up in the flybridge up top, but I guess if it was really stormy and bad and rocky and wavy and you wanted to come down and feel a little more protected, you could come down here. And, you know, it has the Garmin, it has everything else, you know, bow thruster control right there. Everything else that you need to drive this boat if you needed to do it from down below. But what I really like is the ingenious use of space here that they did. You can see that seat, nice, big, cushy, but quite literally, that seat back moves back and forth so that now you have a dining room table that easily and nicely sits for people. So that's beautiful. And finally, here's some more of this really nicely decorated ceiling here in the salon dining area. Just really, really nice. So anyhow, let's head down below. We'll check out the birthing areas. First door on the right is guest accommodations. We have a nice hanging locker here. We have a nice table and chair here. I guess you could sit and do your hair, I guess, makeup, whatever. I guess you can see me in the mirror there, but really nice electrical outlets. TV, stereo system over there, bunch of drawers right here for storage. And as we swing around, we have a nice double, maybe if not really queen bed down here, down below. More drawers over there. And actually behind there is a very nice washer dryer. And I'll show you that in a second. And we have a nice cedar lined hanging locker here. That's nice as well, smells nice. And we have a splendid washer and dryer. Um, I've used one of these for months and months at a time in my motor home, uh, same size. I have a big 38 foot motor home. And I tell you what, these things are great. They're a little slow, uh, but they don't use as much water. They don't use as much power and they don't shred up your clothes by running them really fast. And so minimal lint, they're, they're really nice machines. I believe they're made in Italy, but just really nice washer dryers. I've really loved mine. 
As we exit this guest stateroom, there is another door that leads straight into the guest head. I just want to show you that. We'll enter from the other side. We'll enter from the main door, but I just wanted to point out that there's two doors to that head and you can get there from the guest state. Really nice. These teak floors are custom that uh, the owner told me he had them made really, really nice. This is a wet head so the water can drain out the bottom. This just comes right out. And connects right in there so that you can take a shower in here. And there's a nice curtain here. Slides on this rail. Keeps everything from getting wet, like all your tables, your mirrors, everything like that. But really nice setup, plenty of room. And finally, we have the master state room. Really nice, large bed, queen size at least. Good storage down below, storage drawers. And as we come around, nice, long, tall storage locker. More storage out there. And these do have these really nice steps on either side that you can easily get in and out of bed at night or during the day, I guess, if you're taking a nap. We have our own TV, own stereo system up there. Really nice. Another storage locker here. Note that most all these are basically cedar lined. It smells really nice. And finally, you have your own private head. Really nice, large, roomy. I, I want to point out that once again, just like the other head, the current owner of this vessel put really nice custom teak flooring in here that it drains through. Uh, so if any water or anything, you know, from a shower, like in there, it goes right down to the drain. Really nice toilet. Meridian towels. Really nice shower head. Tons of room in there. Place to sit down. You have a metal rail to grab a hold of there. In addition, there's a port there you can open for fresh air. Gets a little too steamy in here. Good size mirror and sink but really nice private master head. Well, as we exit and enter the salon, let's take a quick look. Coming back out this way, tons of room, really nice. And then for additional storage, you can see that door there. There is a lazarette and it is huge for storage. There's a few other items in there. So let's hop down there and take a look. Now that we have this lazarette open, I'm gonna go on down. It's really easy to access. Lots of storage, but we got our battery management system, battery charger, battery charger, but plenty of room down here. And as you can see, these are doors that fold away on either side. We have batteries on either side, but really nice, easy access to all your auxiliary equipment. Got the same thing on the other side. You've got this do door that just folds away, access to your other battery. And it's a really large opening up here to get all of those out. So just beautiful design by meridian all right now that we're done uh looking at that lazarette we're going to go down below here we're going to open up this engine bay and the generator and the two uh engines are in there and we're going to go take a look at them two cummins 480 horsepower diesels and then we have an onan 13.5 kw diesel generator let's hop on down there take a look get them running and then we're gonna head out, take the boat out, and we'll show you all that the boat can actually move under our own power, get up to speed, and run her air conditioner. And while her generator is running, show that she can handle all the loads of the boat, including the air conditioning. So now that we have this hatch open, I wanna head on down. 
first thing we're going to do because we're getting ready to go out is we're going to start the generator get those air conditioners loaded up on the generator what we have here is an onan marine gen set 13.5 kw and we're going to start this up for you like i said and then we're going to load it up with the air conditioners on it and soon after that we're going to start up the engines and we're going to head out but i'll show you all of that I do want you guys, if you can still hear me with this running, it really is not that loud. Really nice idle. And once we close this hatch here, which is also insulated for heat, sound, all of that, really nice and, and quiet. This gen set here has 530.9 hours. And currently, this generator is basically running the whole the whole vessel. We are fully off shore power. Next, we're going to check out these Cummins 480 horsepower diesels. This is the starboard motor, and here is the port motor. So here we're going to start the port motor. ready to take this boat out and we'll show uh, you how it's cheap performs. All right, we're gonna head on up to the fly bridge. We got both motors running, got the generator running, and we're gonna get ready to head out. Boy, this air conditioning up here feels so great up here on this fly bridge. I do want to point out that this Meridian 441 has bow and stern thrusters. Right now we're pulling away from the dock using a combination of the bow and stern thrusters. You can see the wash there, a bit from that bow thruster. And it is absolutely quiet up here. The loudest thing is the air conditioning and that is not loud at all. It's just heaven sent on this hot floor today. We do have two chart plotters. We have one that's showing radar. This one is showing the chart. What we have here is our Smartcraft engine readout. We have 600 RPMs per motor. We do have an autopilot controller here. We have fuel and everything for the uh, port motor. Over on the other side, there's one for starboard. Uh, engine RPMs here. So about 600 RPMs. We'll have here a starboard motor, fuel, pressure, voltage. So we've got radar, got port starboard motor, throttles, and we have control for the bow thruster here.
Well, thank you for joining me on this episode of Boat Snoop, where we tour this 2009 Meridian 441. If you like this video and you like this boat, make sure to give that thumbs up. If you'd like to see more boat tour videos like this one in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, I've just started with this boat doing live streams and shorts. And so if you're subscribed and you see that, you will get to see the see these boats before they're ever up for sale. Because today, for example, is photo and video day. And so we come down, we get all that and prep so that we can build the listing for the boat before we put it up for sale. But if you're a subscriber, you'll see potentially, you'll see that live stream pop up. You'll be able to go back and see that live stream in the evening if you're working or something like that. And you'll get to see that boat before anyone else, before that listing ever hits the market because almost all of the boats that I actually video are for sale. And you no, know, this boat, two years from now, if you watch it, probably it should be sold. And so it won't be for sale. But if you'd like to see live streams, maybe put questions in, hey, Clint, you, I wanna go see this or this or that on the live stream, if I can, I'll do that. So just be aware, look out for those live streams, join them live or watch them later um, and also be doing some shorts um, introducing that a new video and a new boat is coming out so anyhow once again thank you and i'll catch you next time <music>